Asphalt seal coat is an essential tool in protecting existing roads and making sure they maintain adequate skid resistance. But there are times where the coated layer fails prematurely because of poor durability or when the seal coat is not compatible with the previously laid road. The Texas Department of Transportation, working with the Center for Transportation Research, investigated ways to gauge expected seal coat performance and use that research as a tool for similar projects. Chip seals are a very important pavement preservation technique that are used across the state of Texas. There's nearly $300 million of chip seal work that is done on an annual basis to preserve our pavements and also to ensure a safe riding surface. Now, the way chip seals work is that there's a thin film of asphalt binder or emulsion that is placed on the pavement surface and aggregates, one layer of aggregates are placed on top of it, typically. And these aggregates need to glue with the asphalt binder surface underneath it. So the purpose of this project was to make sure that we have a tool by which to assess whether or not the aggregates are bonding well with the asphalt binder surface underneath it. Seal coat is something that we do across the entire state. It's our mainstay, our, bed, our bread and butter for preserving the, the life of our infrastructure. Um, and we realized that we really didn't have any performance-based testing uh, similar to hot mix uh, for seal coat. So this research project was looking at developing a test that measured uh, some performance. We didn't really have anything in specifically in mind when we did this. We just knew that we wanted a performance measure uh, for seal coat. As a part of this project, we developed some very simple tools that can be used by districts or contractors to assess the quality of the bond between the aggregate and the emulsion or the binder. And as next steps, we would like to see districts use these tools or this equipment and run these tests on a routine basis as a part of their annual seal code program to assess the quality of the materials that are being used in the field. We did a lot of lab testing and we developed some testing that we think shows promise that needs to be further developed in the field. Um, so we had to do something that we could, right, number one, gain some kind of performance measure, and then two, that was repeatable. Um, so we think we've identified a few tests that could move forward. Uh, now we just need to move forward with um, implementing those uh, or furthering the research. The next steps in this project is to integrate the findings into the specifications for chip seals. There are specifications embedded in the chip seal spec right now for asphalt and for aggregate. And this would tie the two together to measure compatibility of the two. If we have a performance-based uh, aspect to these to seal coat, uh, we're going to be able to, to check to make sure that this provides a safer uh, surface for the traveling public. Uh, and secondly, it's going to be a cost savings. Typically, seal coats have a surface life about uh, serviceable life about seven years, and uh, uh, if you are able to extend the serviceable life or avoid premature failures, that translates into a lot of money saved. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Tex.Research Library at the link shown below.